All right, this is Block 5, Roaring Twenties, Part 5, Isolationism, uh, with the section beginning with disarmament. It was a belief among many people that World War I um, was begun and made worse by the fact that all the countries of Europe were armed to the teeth, pointing guns at each other. And the idea went that if you could reduce the amount of guns and tanks and planes and bombs, you would reduce the likelihood that these countries would use all of these guns and tanks and bombs and planes and mustard gas and all the other nasty implements of war. So a huge movement in the first part of the 20th century, uh, it was before World War I also, uh, was the disarmament movement, that countries should give up their armies, give up their navies uh, as much as humanly possible. So after the carnage of World War I, this idea went went right back into vogue, uh, became a very popular idea again. Uh, and in 1922, there was a big meeting uh, called the Washington Naval Conference. And a bunch, of, now the Washington Naval Conference uh, met in Washington, and its job was to try to reduce the number of uh, battleships that the main powers had uh, in the Pacific. And the country's concern uh, were the United States, Great Britain, and Japan. And they argued over um, you know, how many ships, how much the ships could weigh, tonnage of the ships, the size of the guns on the ships, uh, to try to create some kind of... The, you're trying to avoid an arms race. You're trying to avoid, well, if Britain has two battleships, Japan needs three. And if Japan has three, Britain needs five. If Britain has five, Japan needs seven. If Japan has seven, Britain needs nine. And, you know, and so on and so forth. That is the goal here. That is what is trying to be avoided here. So a ratio was set at the Washington Naval Conference. And the ratio that was set was five to five to three. That for every five battleships in the Pacific that Great Britain had, the United States could have five and Japan could have three. And that was intended to reflect the fact that both the United States and Great Britain had these large colonial empires in the Pacific and Japan did not. That the Americans and the British kind of said to the Japanese, what do you need all of these battleships for? We need them. We have these big empires. We need to protect them, protect the trade. What do you need them for, Japan? Um, and the Japanese said, oh, you know, we want them for this, that, and the other thing. Uh, but the 5 to 5 to 3 ratio was established. Countries would have to, and here's the, this is a World War I style battleship right here. Uh, countries would. Um, be able to check up on the other countries to make sure that they were not, you know, hiding battleships places. Uh, they would, there was tonnage um, that I think battleships would max out at 30,000 tons. Um, so that reduces the ability to build big giant battleships. Um, but again, there is not really much of an enforcement mechanism. What are you going to do if a country starts secretly building a battleship that is much bigger? Are you willing to go to war over that? Who knows? Most people during the 1920s and 1930s are not willing to go to war over that sort of thing. So this disarmament reflects this ideal that if we somehow reduce the number of guns and ships and planes, that will somehow reduce the likelihood of countries going to war.